Hey guys, um, since last time I actually did a lot of things and I'm kind of sorry about that. Um, I wasn't able to do it on camera so um, there's a lot of new features that I don't believe were there on the last video. Um, I went ahead and redesigned the way this looks. I believe all these features I've already discussed. Uh, the features I have not discussed are these over here, as well as these down here. Now these down here are technically still being tested. They are. They have some problems, but uh, overall they work. Uh, plus I added uh, whole instructions to know how this uh, program works. Uh, the code, so it starts off around here. This whole thing here that I have is uh, made up of uh, four different parts and this is basically asking questions for the user. Um, so starting off at first it tells you that it can only work with ABI um, and then here it asks you for the location of the AVI file you want to use. Uh, and then obviously I have some redundancies if you will. Uh, to make sure that uh, the person does not go ahead and uh, load something that he already has loaded. Um, so that's what that's there for. Um, the next thing would be to ask what the name of the file is that you want to save. Um, and then if that file already exists, it asks you what you want to do. And then the final step here is just to uh, set up some uh, some uh, variables, some not variables. Um, well, yeah, some some variables, I suppose, for the rest of the program. So moving on into the program here, this big while loop is the program, uh, and when this while loop ends, basically by clicking the big stop button, it will just close the AVI, and this will delete all. Let me show you the help here. Yep. So this will get rid of all the image files that were created. Um, the reason I'm not wiring anything to it is that, first of all, it says here just once for all images created. And I personally would like to do them one by one, except that there's this one part in the code right here uh, where, see, okay, at one, I go ahead and generate it. And at two, I generate one called temp2. Um, I was getting errors if I call it temp1 again, so I had to do, uh, if I use the same image, so I moved this out of the system, but it wouldn't work. So the problem is that now there's only one line coming out of this, and there's two images in here, so I, I thought calling it this way is a much safer uh, way. So what this does here, this whole section, is involved in uh, figuring out the number of frames uh, and the frame interval here. So whenever you click next, it figures out what where you're trying to end up, and then it takes you there. Uh, as you can see, only this blue line is coming out of this. Basically, uh, this one here is just uh, goes loops back here with the with the with the shift register to know what the next move should be. So that's what this does. I won't get into the details because, well, if you if you want to figure it out, you can look into it. Um, Alright, so the next thing down here, and this is also related to the frame number, and uh, all this is doing is basically making this right here specify the frame that you are on. So it's not doing anything fancy. This down here, however, is doing something very fancy. So what this does, this whole section, is responsible for loading data. So basically, if you go to a point that you've already set uh, values for, initially what we had was here, as you can see here, initially we had this array generated with all zeros, so you can fill it out. But what this does, this whole system here is it loads the points so that you know so that you get those points and you can edit them if you need to uh, so that's it for the pre work here and then we enter into the actual main code and that's this highlighted right here 
So this is the big while loop that does everything. Um, this bottom part of it, this true or false here, uh, where the fault is literally empty, uh, this is responsible for the playback. And what the playback does is it lets you play through the points, right? So that's what this big play and stop button lets you play through the points that you've already saved. And uh, you can loop it so that basically it keeps going uh, uh, through them. It doesn't stop when it gets to the end. And finally, a frame delay, which basically slows it down and speeds it up. That's all it does. It's pretty simple. Uh, I believe you should be able to see everything going on in here. Um, so yeah, so we have this true or false whether ha whether play is on or not. Then you have your while loop, which keeps everything running. Um, as you can see here, it's limited by whether the loop button is on or off. And uh, what's going on here, simply you can see this one here is taking apart the points. So this is our point. Uh, this here uh, gets the AVI info, depending on the frame we need. Uh, this puts a, uh, gets rid of uh, puts, this gets rid of the overlays. So basically, everything that was there on the image before, because we're using the same image, so basically it deletes everything off it and then puts in. Uh, well, here it puts in text, well, which is basically the frame number. And then this loop, what that does three times, is it goes ahead and draws everything. It draws uh, lines between everything. And then this one here finally draws the points, one through four, and the image is displayed. And here's your time delay. Pretty straightforward. Now what's going on up here gets a little more complex. Um, this here, this entire greenish section, is uh, just basically figuring out what the system should do. So basically the points here, if you clicked any of those, or if you clicked any of the out of frame buttons, it will know and it will send it in through here. Uh, this will be the decider on what happens right here. So this, this makes all the decisions based on what you have clicked. Um, so there's a pre-decision here, which technically this is identical to that. I could have put that in here. The only reason I have it separate is because uh, save space. Otherwise, this box would need to be all the way out here, and then this would need to move further back. And so it's just a safe space. So this line decides what to do. Uh, these, all four of them, there's only, basically, they don't do anything except sometimes I need a new image to be created. Um, this here writes down the frame number that we're on. Uh, that clears everything, writes down the frame number, sends the picture through all the way into this. Now, these are the cases of what could happen. So in this case, the default nothing case, uh, nothing has happened, in which case, well, nothing happens. As you can see, it just keeps going and waiting until you actually ask for something. Now, in this case, it means that you have selected a point, and this is what that does. So this, this is telling you to select a point. Uh, this will show you where the point is, and then this here is probably saving the data in the, the, the point data into the array and then goes on. The next one is doing something very similar. Uh, what this is doing is it's taking uh, the points and adding new points to it, right? So we start off on one, now we work with two. Um, this one here is in the event of putting something out of frame. It sets its points to minus 10, and that's it. Everything moves on. So by moving on here, it gets a little messy. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, we remember these, this entire section here is responsible for just changing the words on the buttons, right? So that's all that this section does. I could probably even simplify this or make it a sub VI, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, what this does here is it displays the points for you. And this one here runs a check to see whether you have completed everything or not. Uh, basically, you need to have all your points here. Before going to the next frame, you need to have all your points non-zero. If they are all zero, I did add this contingency plan, which basically asks if you want to skip this frame. right? So it's, as you can see here, it says skip or try again. And then you decide on whether you want to do that. And then it moves on. Uh, there's a lot of decision going on. As you can see, all these green lines, lots of true or false. Uh, as you can see, the stop button can be 
can be activated by one, two, three, four, five different things can force this to stop, um, ranging from all sorts of things. Uh, this down here doesn't really, it just sets uh, these buttons to, to off when you work with the experimental setup. It's a safety feature. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go into what happened here. I can barely explain what's going on here. And this could probably be way, way further simplified. Uh, but I, I'm not gonna work worry about it. They were literally you start off with just one case and then you add another and then another and then that's how it just gets crazy. The last bit here, probably one of the semi most important parts. This is the part that will analyze the information and save it to file. So we have some analysis going on here, which adds it to a general uh, to our general. Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, add it to our general variable that's holding all this data, uh, this pink line right here, and then adds to it. Now, what goes on along the way is just some kind of safety checks. So this one, oh, so one of the, damn it, so one of them is checking, for example, uh, what it should do. So in this case, either gonna insert it or not, or or here it's gonna build it, here it's gonna re uh, replace it. Right, so if you re if you open up a point that you already worked on and then you change it, this will decide whether you add it here or not. Uh, another safety feature is to make sure that a point does not exist already. So you cannot have two frames number 32. There's only one. So if you add a second frame of 32, it will replace the first one instead of just being added to the end. So that's what this is deciding. Uh, this is obviously the part where it actually writes it to file uh, or it doesn't do anything in the case of uh, skipping or something just doesn't do anything uh, even though it might calculate what to do it just won't do it at the end so um, I could get rid of this somehow by putting another true false uh, and encasing all this and save some data but uh, this is processing four points I so eight, maybe nine numbers, I'm fine with that. It, the system still runs fi fine. Um, this last bit here is a new safe, right? So basically, I added a feature where you can delete a point. Now, by deleting a point, that literally means that I have to resave the entire file because uh, I'm not adding to it. So here, all I'm doing is adding to a file, but here, I'm not adding to a file, right? I'm get taking away, and there's no feature to take away from it. So basically, I literally have to get the data out, uh, get the data I don't want out of that, and then resave it, the entire thing, and not just add to it. And, and then here you see everything just goes through the uh, the shift registers to back to the beginning. Uh, all right, so let's see. Um, how this works. Let's go ahead and run an experiment. So I'm going to run this. So here it ask, tells you it's only AVI. And then you say, I understand. It asks you for a video. I'm going to, I have this one. It asks you for a name. I'm going to say, I'm using test, obviously. Uh, and then see here, it knows that I've used it, that I, that this exists already. So I'm just going to open this one. I don't, I don't think I have any points there yet. So basically, you start off, select all four points, and then you select the four points, as you can see. If a point is out of frame, I can just say cancel, set it as out of frame, and then go to the next frame. Now at the next frame, I come here, select all four points. One, two, three, again, it is out of frame, so out of frame. Now I could add an interval, so let's jump 10 frames now, right? Save and go. So next one, you select the four points, one, two, three and I'm gonna say fours here now instead of clicking next every time well let's click next this time but instead of clicking the start every time I can add the quick start feature so now on the next time on the next run I will not have to click the start anymore right and there you go it just automatically starts up with the next point and then all I have to do is click next then for this to work uh, and as you can see, at all times, the points are being saved here. If I add the quick continue, 
basically now I don't need to click anything but select all four points every single time it just keeps loading back and back um, as you can see there's a slight delay between the frames and that's because it's loading the new frame and saving the old data there's some things that there's a lot of things that go on in between uh, every frame but it makes it much easier to uh, save all the data here now I'm almost oh what is that do you see that this is all wrong remember that guys so 112 we're gonna have to edit that I'm gonna keep going on here ignoring it for now uh, but yeah so remember 112 needs to be edited let me just add yeah I'll make this the last point so I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna turn off the quick continues and set the fourth one as out of frame I'm going to save this frame instead of go to next right I'm just going to save it so there it is now I'm going to go to frame 112 go to that frame there it is oh alright see so I told you this has errors so as you can see you cannot see all the points but I know that point 3 had an error which should be there and then point 4 should probably be there and then point 2 should be there there we go so I just fixed it again I can do save this frame it just replaced it here so let's see how this works I'm gonna set a delay of a hundred and loop the video with all these frames and then I'm gonna click play so as you can see now it's playing the entire video there's a slight delay here which if I stop the video we could go to frame number one and go to that frame and then we could just delete that frame so now we just deleted frame one from the system and now I can go ahead and play this again and it might flow better there we go so you can see I'm running I think this is beautiful uh, well, I believe that's a quick highlight. Shows you everything that this that this program does. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions, just ask me. I'll go ahead and make better explanations. And again, I'm really sorry that I had to add in all these features off camera. Um, I, I I wasn't at home while working on it, and I could not record. Um, all right, guys. So I will see you guys in our next project on LabVIEW and uh, have a good day, weekend, week, year, I'm not sure <laughs> how you set yourself. Alright guys, talk to you later.